Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up Canboard project management software on Ubuntu running on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box and come to this marketplace listing and from this page you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Canboard Apache PHP and all of the prerequisites for setting up Canboard. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you would be brought to this product page and from here you want to click on accept terms and then you want to wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Once the validation is done, simply click on continue to configuration. And then from this page, choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. Once satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you get two different options to either launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or to launch it from the EC2 management console. So what I am going to do is that I am going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this is going to open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name so I am going to call it as Canboard and then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements and then choose a key pair by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. And then you can leave the network settings as default and when you are satisfied simply click on launch instance. After that, you need to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment process is done, Next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. For that simply click on view all instances. And then as you can see that our virtual machine is still in the pending state. So simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. Now once in the running state, simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. After that switch over to SSH client tab and copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a powershell. After that, simply replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path for the private key, simply hit enter and when you are prompted type in yes and hit enter once more. Now this command prompt is going to connect to the SSH service of our virtual machine and become an SSH terminal. Now in this terminal, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to set up database for Canboard. Now, what you can do is that you can click the link in the description box to come to this step by step blog post on how to set up Canboard project management software and from this blog post you would see that the very first step is to access the MySQL shell. For that simply type in the command sudo space MySQL and then hit enter. After that we want to create a specific database for our Canboard to use and for that we also need to create a new user. So we can do that by simply copying these two commands and pasting them in our SSH terminal. Now you must keep in mind that the name of the database that we are creating is Canboard and the username is also Canboard while the password is password. Now make sure to give yourself a different username, different password or even a different database name and then simply paste the command inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now what you want to do is that you want to grant all of the privileges to this user for that simply copy this command and paste it in the command prompt. After that you want to apply those privileges as well. For that we have the flush privileges command. So copy this command and also copy this exit command because after the flush privileges we are done setting up our database. So now we can move on to the next step which is to set up PHP options. Now to set up PHP options we need to open up the php.ini file. For that simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal to open up the php.ini file. Now in this file what you want to do is that you want to check for specific tags having a specific value. Now let me bring this command from to the side. So what you want to do is that you want to make sure that these tags have these values. So I'm just going to simply speed it up but in case you want to speed up this process what you can do is that you can simply hit ctrl w to open up this search bar and in that search bar you can simply search for the tag like file uploads and then hit enter so that is going to make things quite faster for you so let me just speed it up while i check for these tags now once you're done with all of the tags what you want to do is that you simply want to hit ctrl o and then enter to save this file 
and control X to exit from this file. And after that, we want to restart the service of Apache. So type in the command sudo systemctl restart apache2 and then hit enter. Now the next step is to set up the configuration file or the config.php file for the installation of Canboard. Now to do this, we need to first head inside the directory for Canboard. So copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now to head inside the Canboard directory, what you can do is that you can type in the command speedy space forward slash where forward slash forward slash www forward slash html and then forward slash enter. Now in here you want to search for the Canboard directory. So type in the command ls and then hit enter. Now you can see that the directory is canboard hyphen 1.2.22. So type that in as cd canboard hyphen 1.2.22 and then hit enter. Now in this directory, we want to make a copy of config.default.php file as config.php. For that, simply copy this command and paste it inside our SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now that we have a config.php file, we want to open it up and change some of the settings. So simply type in sudo nano config.php and then hit enter. Now in this configuration file, we want to check for specific tags having specific values. The very first tag is going to be the DB driver. So the db driver here is set to sql lite we want to change it to mysql after that the db username is the username of the user that we created while setting up our database which was canboard after that the password that we created was password make sure to provide the username and password which you created and then the database name was canboard and the database was hosted on localhost once everything is done what you want to do is that you want to hit Ctrl O and enter to save this file and Ctrl X to exit from this file. After that, you want to update the permissions of this Canboard directory. For that, head back to the blog post, copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal. But as you can see that we had the Canboard version as 1.2.22. So make sure to change that command from the end and then hit enter. After that, the next step is to configure Apache for our Canboard. Now to configure Apache, what we want to do is that we want to create a new configuration file. For that, simply head back to the blog post and copy this command and then paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now it is not only going to create that configuration file, but it is also going to open that file up. Now in this file, we want to copy these commands and paste them in this configuration file. And what we want to do is that we want to simply change the value for this server name tag with your domain. Now if you're not running a domain then you can simply put the IP address of your virtual machine. Now to get the IP address of your virtual machine, simply head back to the EC2 management console, click on instances, click on your virtual machine and simply copy this public IPv4 address and paste it in the configuration file right in front of server name. After that. What you want to do is that you want to hit Ctrl O and enter to save the file and Ctrl X to exit from this file. Now our virtual host configurations are set. Now we want to enable this virtual host. So type in the command sudo a2n site then canboard.conf. After that, we want to also type in sudo a2n mode rewrite. And after that, as you can see, it is asking us to restart our Apache service. So type the command sudo system ctl restart apache2 and then hit enter now we are basically done with setting up our can board now we can access the can boards web portal now to do that simply head back to the ec2 management console copy the public ipv4 address paste it in a new tab and then hit enter now this is going to display this login page and the default login is admin for the username and admin for the password so type that in and click on sign in now you are logged into the dashboard for admin. Now to create a new Canboard project, simply click on this new project button over here and then fill in the name and identifier of this project. So I'm going to call it as test project. After that, you can set a specific task limit. So I can set it equal to let's say 15. When that is done, I can simply click on save and my project would be created. Now, by the way, this identifier is optional, so you do not need to provide it. Now you can see that I have created a new project and in this project I can add in new task, I can add in roles, I can add in new people by simply doing it public access. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. 
Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step by step blog post on how to set up CAN board project management on AWS and also for the marketplace listing for AWS. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.